Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is coming out in a week's time, and people are very excited for it. The critic reviews are starting to get out there. They're very positive, and I myself would be looking forward to it, but unfortunately it's not coming to PC day one, so I'm going to have to wait. But everyone who owns a PS5, they're probably looking forward to picking it up. Except for one select group of people. Now, I was looking around the internet, seeing what people were saying about Rebirth. I was looking to kind of gauge what people's reactions were so far, and unfortunately, I wandered onto a certain gaming forum. You might have heard of it. It's called Reset Era. This is a site that you can actually only access if you are doing so from a mental asylum. If you're just living in your house in the suburbs, you can't go on there. I've managed to do so because I was using a VPN, but otherwise only from the mental asylum. Otherwise you can't read, you can't post on there. And what's very interesting is they weren't really discussing the game itself. They weren't talking about how is the open world going to be to explore, going to all these incredible places, Cosmo Canyon, Nibelheim, all these great places from the original game to explore. This forum, the people here were not talking about that. They were getting offended about a scene where people are at the beach. Cloud and friends, Tifa, Aerith, they're at the beach, they're obviously wearing beachy sorts of clothes, and they weren't happy, they were absolutely melting down, and we won't watch all of this sequence, but this is really all it is. They're at the beach, Cloud doesn't have a shirt on, the girls are wearing beachy clothes, and that's enough to send these people over the edge. The game is suddenly a disaster. Everyone who made the game needs to be locked up for this travesty, and we'll have a look at what people are saying about it, because it's not good. It starts off with someone in, in a very worried manner. They say, oh, Seize the Bob Pick. Reminisces about the last time it was possible to play a Final Fantasy game with other people watching without dying of shame. Very interesting. So if you're watching a movie and there's a scene where people are just at the beach, just innocently having a good time, that puts you in a, a state of panic, it sounds like. We're not talking about a, an intimate scene of Game of Thrones. We're, we're talking about just going to the beach. People are just there kicking the ball, walking their dog or something. That's what puts you over the edge. This is a unique world that these people live in. And this continues as well. So someone, maybe this person, they were getting out of the mental asylum the following day. They're, they're sort of returning to normalcy. This person says, damn, you must hate going to the beach with others, huh? I mean, a pretty normal comment. And then that same person who was getting all worried and upset, well, this poster has now woken the dragon because they're going to, to let the person who tried to be the voice of reason absolutely have it. And they come back and say, yes, exactly. It's the fact that a woman has bobs that annoys me. Not the tone, intention, tasteless hyper male gazeness and infantilization of said women, which is nothing new for the Tifa archetype, but come on. Tifa is less of a character in Final Fantasy VII Remake than the original because of crap like this. And he comes back with an edit, he's been thinking about this and he's got to keep going. And yes, Tifa was already problematic in the OG. But at least it was confined to the full motion video. What does Tifa archetype mean anyway? I, I thought that's like a series of things or something. What, what is going on? Do these people not, not have the capability of just playing the game and enjoying it? I mean, the original... I don't remember anything weird like this. I, I just played it through. There were fun characters. There was a bit of humor. It didn't take itself too seriously. I feel like sometimes with Final Fantasy now, it does try and take itself too seriously. Final Fantasy 16, just everything I've seen of it, heard of it. Again, I don't have a PS5, so I can't play it. But it just seems like a lot of that heart and soul wasn't there. So I'm not even that pumped for it. When it finally does come to PC, I'm probably going to wait for a sale if I play it at all, because it just seems too serious. So again, the original Final Fantasy 7... What is all this weird stuff that you're talking about? I didn't see it. You, you surely have to really be looking for it. It seems like these people who they'll bang on that you're an ist, you're a phobe, or, or you're whatever, they're just thinking about this stuff 24-7. People are just at the beach having a good time, 
and all you're thinking about is, I see people without all of their clothes on, something's coming on here. I imagine this person is so upset because the one time in their life that they actually went to the beach, they left mum's basement, they were such a weirdo that people probably called the cops and said, we feel uncomfortable, can you remove this person from the premises? And they've been very salty ever since then, they've got a bit of a bone to pick, anything beach related, but this continues, it's not only about that exchange, Again, they can never just talk about the game and enjoying it and celebrate having fun. There's always another agenda at play. So someone's posted an article and said, this is cool. Queer characters and stories are everywhere in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Much more than any other game in the series. So they're not even really enjoying it. It's more the fact that they want to shit on any other game in the Final Fantasy series that has existed because it hasn't had enough of this. So you better keep doing this, so we're gonna make you hear all about it. And you're gonna be in a lot of trouble if you don't. And someone says, yo, this is great to hear. I hope there's some MLM couples in there too. And I had to Google that, because I thought MLM referred to a multi-level marketing scheme. I thought, are you talking about two people who are both being scammed, who happen to be in a relationship as well? Is, is that what it's come to? But no, it means male loving male. So that's, again, what these people are thinking about. They're running around in the world searching for specific relationships. That's what it's all about. And you just know, I haven't played this, maybe I'm wrong. But you just get the feeling that it's like two NPCs that you can't even speak to at all. A, a real just lazy effort to make these people happy. And, and supposedly they eat it up. So they're thinking, great, we didn't have to spend any money on making these loons happy. Let's just pop it in there and move on. It seems like that's all it is. So whatever, I, I suppose. And this, of course, continues. And I'm going to spare you most of this person's rant. But I found this bit quite interesting. They say, then you've got this one scene where Tifa is wearing a beach-appropriate outfit and Cloud finds her attractive physically. However, it's, it's only after that it's clear that he likes her for her mind and work ethic and spirit already. So, guys, there are very specific rules about liking people. You better only like women for their work ethic, apparently. If you like them because they're attractive to you physically, that's, that's bad. You, that's the male gaze that they referred to earlier. It's, it's all rotten stuff, so just keep yourself in check. Remember that. And we'll end with this one. I don't want to keep this going on too long and, and have our brains rot any further, but this person's really going off here. There's, there's a couple of them, actually. So this exchange starts with someone saying, how do they sexualize Cloud? So they've actually moved on from Tifa, and now they've started talking about how Cloud the male main character, they've apparently been objectified as well. Oh my god, when will this end? And they say, I haven't played Remake, but just being shirtless here is not sexualization. Ah, oh, okay, okay, all good. Sexualization is when the person's value comes only from their sex appeal and made into a thing for another's use. Like him being shirtless on the beach is appropriate, not sexualized fan service. That is out of place and objectifying. But here you see it with Tifa and the male gaze being employed, where her breasts are put into focus and they're bunched up for the camera. Maybe it's just that Tifa as a woman has a woman's body and therefore they're in view when you see her on the screen. Maybe that's why. I'm sorry that they didn't Photoshop out all her female body parts, but what is even going on here? What is the stuff about Cloud? I don't understand this. But really what's happening is the first person is trying to say that Cloud was not sexualized, but this person's got the evidence. They've got the receipts because no, 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 there's very bad things going on with Cloud as well. He is frequently ogled and thirsted on by Jesse. This is referring to the original PS1 game, by the way. I don't remember any of this. I, I played the game. This was the last thing on my mind. I was having a great time. Heaps of cool characters. It's a nice nostalgic experience. I'm sorry that this person has such twisted memories about it. The whole honeybee in sequence. Again, it was for comedic effect in the game. It's basically a whole little section where Cloud has to dress up as a girl and he has to get this crime boss to, to think he's pretty and, and take her into his bed or something. And then he pulls off the mask and he rescues his friend that this crime boss has kidnapped. It was totally for comedic effect. It was meant to be funny that Cloud was dressing up as a girl and this crime boss is fooled. Sadly, in the year 2024, when people dress up like that, we're meant to take it really seriously and, and pretend it's all fine. But besides the point, 
getting an org nice hand massage from Madam M. Okay, I can't even remember that. Sefer this is the best one. Sephiroth not respecting his personal space. So the villain of the game was not respecting Cloud's personal space. And that is evidence that he is being sexualized, that something's going on here. The next time I rewatch Die Hard, I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna see it from a new perspective, that Alan Rickman's character, when he's not respecting John McClane's personal space, it must be because he's got the hots for it. That can be the only explanation here. Don Corneo, again, that's the crime boss that I mentioned earlier. Don Corneo taking candid photos in his sex dungeon. But that's his whole character. That's literally all he does all day, every day. It's got nothing to do with Cloud. Jesus. Now, after reading all this, I've got to say I'm having second thoughts about picking up Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PC when it comes out. I'm going to have to do some self-reflection. Clearly, this game is just so problematic. And how am I going to be able to enjoy it with all of this stuff going on? Oh, my God, they're at the beach. This is just so bad. But on a serious note, I really hope that Square Enix don't fuck around this time because every time with these games they wait so long to put it on PC by the time it releases all the hype is dead Final Fantasy 16 again people seem to be really pumped for it when it came out even when it released people wanted to keep that hype up and say how great it was but I feel like as time's gone on it's harder and harder to find people who actually say it's a great game so it seems like it was all kind of hype but it wasn't really that good We'll see with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Maybe it comes after a few months. Sony have mentioned their strategy now is about getting games out to as many people as possible. And I know it's a Square Enix game. Sony may have funded some of it. I don't really know how that works or if they just paid for some exclusivity time. Either way, I just feel like they're not going to spend heaps and heaps of money to keep it away from PC. So hopefully it comes a bit quicker, especially with Square Enix, I think, struggling a bit in recent times. They probably want as many sales as they can get. It was nice to take my mind off this for a second, but I'm now going to check myself into the Mental Institute because this has pushed me over the edge. But thanks so much for listening. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.